Today's video is brought to us by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're like most gun owners who like to repair and upgrade your own firearms, well, why not take that passion and turn it into a career? SDI is a distance learning institute and all of the materials and tools are shipped directly to your door. They have classes on ballistics, gunsmithing, armors courses, and even drone classes. You can get your certificate or your degree and take that step now. Check out the link down below and in the pinned comment, sdi.edu. And thank you to the Sonoran Desert Institute for making today's video possible. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. It's come out now that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has proposed a total ban on lead ammunition and lead fishing tackle by 2026. Now that would be on any lands owned or operated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and would include parks and wildlife refuges as, as well as other locations. And you might say, huh, that sounds familiar. Well, it should be. Because in 2017, early 2017, on his second to last day in office, Barack Hussein Obama uh, did an immediate ban on lead ammunition and fishing tackle via the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And that, like I said, that was two day, the day before he was out of office. He did it as a big to gun owners and hunters and fishermen. And they, they went back and said that there was some studies that said that, you know, lead shot, if it were left around, or lead uh, weights, you know, in, in fishing waters, if they were left around, that they were polluting the environment and causing havoc for fish and wildlife. And since then, it has been proven that the science that they're claiming this is coming, uh, this, this is happening, is, is questionable at best. So Trump won that election, and... Trump appointed a new um, Secretary of the Interior. His name was Ryan Zink. And on his very first day in office in March of 2017, he overruled that ban because it was a director's order. So he overturned it immediately and people could hunt and fish on you know, US fish and wildlife lands again. Well, since Barack Obama is really the puppet master behind Joe Biden. Joe Biden is having his interior uh, secretary, the head of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, to propose the exact same ban on lead ammunition and lead fishing tackle. Now, they'll be quick to point that California does it and some European countries do it, and we need to go woke and save everything. The truth of the matter is, it was a backdoor gun ban then, and it's a backdoor gun ban now. How is it a backdoor gun ban, you say? It is absolutely looking to destroy the traditions of hunting in America. We just take away the ability for you to do it there, and then people won't do it anymore. In fact, I referenced in the video I did in 2017 that companies had proposed changing their uh, projectile to like all uh, copper core, stuff like that. We've seen that stuff kind of hit the market since then. But the ATF sat on those proposals for years before they would do anything. Um, so it's obvious what the federal government's looking to do. They don't like you guys and gals, myself included, to be able to have a firearm and to protect yourself or to overthrow a tyrannical government or to stop an invasion or to keep you from being murdered on the streets or to protect your daughter from being raped or to keep your community safe. Because that's what the Second Amendment's all about. So I... I mentioned that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is now proposing this ban by 2026. And as such, right now is the public comment period in the Federal Register. Uh, I will have a link down below. I'll have a link to the Gun Owners of America section talking about this as well. Send letters to everybody through using their, their clicks. And if you're a hunter or a fisherman or woman and you use these lands and you want to continue to yeah, use these lands before you lose these lands then get active, make a comment, make some phone calls, notice, uh, notify people in your hunting groups, your fishing groups, let them know what's going on. This absolutely cannot stand to happen. And the only way it will not happen is if the people get off their asses and stop it. Guys and gals, let me know what you think down below. Links will be in the description and in the pinned comments. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what it's for and they hate you for it. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.